Greetings, traders. This is Coach Robert with another episode of Top Step X in 5 Minutes or Less. In this video, we will demonstrate the DOM on the mobile-friendly version of Top Step X. This is the DOM that right now on the screen. If you are not on the DOM, you simply tap the Trade button at the bottom of the screen. For example, if we are looking at a chart, we simply tap on Trade. You can also get to it by tapping the three dots on the lower right and then choosing DOM from the list. At the top left, we have our realized P&L. In the center, the account we are trading. And on the right, our unrealized P&L. Below that is the contract that we are on. And we have a gear for the settings, and then we have the auto centering or not auto centering. We can simply change the account by tapping and selecting the account we wish to trade. We can change the contract the same way. Tap, scroll, or search. The settings by tapping the gear, we have the options which we would like to see or not see on the DOM screen and on the order card screen. We can change our font size, the padding, this is the spacing between each of the levels of the DOM, and then we can choose if we want to hide the PL or hide your the bid or hide the all button. So let's just save and we can see down the bottom, these are the buttons that I chose and I wish to have on my screen. We currently have no active position. Here we can very easily choose between the number of contracts, 1, 3, 5, 10, 15, or we can click on the plus as well. Three contracts, five contracts, one contract. We can choose to buy the sell the market. We can join the bid or ask by tapping. We can flatten all of our positions under this particular account, and we can cancel any pending orders as well. We can also add our orders by simply tapping on the bid above and below the market or the ask above and below the market. So for example, if I tap on the ask on the right hand side down below here, let's actually shut off the, the auto scrolling so we can see it easier. I'm going to scroll up and if I tap right under the ask column, notice I have a sell stop. It is a minus one because it's below the market. If I want to remove it, I can either cancel the order, cancel all, flatten all, or tap the X right next to the stop. And that's what we'll do. Now, if I wish to add to the bid and make a buy, that would be a limit order because we're going long below the current market price. So there it is, same applies, cancel, flatten, or cancel all. So let's use cancel orders this time. We can scroll up and down. Now, if we are above the market and I choose ask, it's the limit order. If I am above the market and I choose the bid, I would be that would be a buy stop order. If I just wish to place a trade, let's go back to the top right and click on this auto so we see the center of the screen. Let's just do a buy market. And there's our order. We placed it here, it's highlighted. It shows our potential PL as zero. Let's actually stop the auto trade, the auto scroll. And we can see the prices where if it goes up in our favor, this would be our potential PL. And if it goes down, this would be our potential PL. Let's turn the auto back on so we can see where we are. Down the bottom, we have the unrealized PL, which is the same as at the top. We have our break even button because we had our bracket orders ahead of time. So let's move our stop to break even. And there it is. We can see it down the bottom. This is our break even stop right there. But if we want to close a position, we can either close position here or we can flatten. Since it's a long, we can also click on sell market and it will close that position. Let's just flatten all. It removes the order, the position, the target, and the stop with one click. That will conclude the demonstration of the DOM on the mobile-friendly version of Top Step X.